Doctor, wake up. I have something really important to tell you. You won't believe it. <sighs> Whisper, please. I'm trying to sleep. Doctor, wake up. You won't believe, but I just... Hey, what am I doing? Doctor, wake up! Oh, my ears! Doctor, you're awake! Yes, but I wish I wasn't. Ow, my poor ears. Why did you wake me up? Sorry, Doctor, but I have something very important to tell you. It's amazing. It's incredible. It's absolutely unforgettable. Yeah? What is it? I forgot. What? How could it possibly be something so amazing, incredible, and unforgettable if you forgot it? I don't know, Doctor, but this is pretty amazing, incredible, and unforgettable. I forgot something so amazing, incredible, and unforgettable. Yes, it is. But I don't have the patience for this. I'm going back to sleep. Wake me up if you remember what it was. Patience! That was it! Ow! I'm right here! You don't have to shout. Sorry, Doctor, but you reminded me of what I wanted to tell you. You have a patient. Come, I'll bring it to him. Really? And you're right. There isn't a moment to lose. Quick, fluff my pillows for me. I'm going back to bed. <gasps> Doctor! <sighs> Fine, I can't bring the doctor to his office because he wants to be in bed, so I'll just have to bring the doctor in bed to his office. Um, hello? Are you finally waking up? I've been waiting here for three hours! Come on, just five more hours. Wait, where am I? Welcome back to the world, doctor. I cannot wake you up, so I just brought you and your bed here with my tow truck. <clears throat> Well, that's embarrassing. Help her, girl. Next time, tell me first before you tell me here while I'm sleeping. Sorry, doctor. It's okay. Actually, I kind of like having my bed here. Now, if I ever get tired or bored here, I can just go to sleep. Thanks, helper girl. You're getting a raise as soon as I got money. Hey, stop talking and give me my checkup. Oh, I'm so sorry. What needs checking up on? Isn't that your job to figure out? I don't know. I've never had a patient before. What? Are you serious? No, I'm Dr. Bill. All my other patients ran out of patients and left before I could come see them. Doctor, want me to take a picture to remember this? Sure. Everyone, gather around and say, pay your bill. Pay your bill! I don't want my picture taken. I just want to get this over with. Too late, I already took the picture. Now let's get started! How do I do that again? You're supposed to ask me how I'm feeling. Oh, right. How are you feeling? Terrible. I've been sitting here for hours waiting for you to wake up, and it turns out you don't even know what you're doing. I'm sorry to hear that. But don't worry, I know exactly what I'm doing. Help a girl, what should I be doing? Ask him if his head has been hurt. Does your head hurt? No, my head feels great. I know exactly why it's not hurting. What do you mean? Tell me, when was the last time you banged your head against the wall? I've never banged my head against the wall. Why? Well, that's the problem! You need to bang your head against the wall twice a day in order for it to hurt properly. And after every meal... What are you talking about? I don't want my head to hurt. I'm perfectly happy with it not hurting. You don't look very happy. Trust me, you'll feel a lot happier once you follow my advice. Upper girl, what do I do next? Ask him if his tummy hurt. Does your tummy hurt? No, but my ears are hurting from listening to your terrible advice. That's because you're not eating enough junk food. Eat three factories full of chocolate every day and your tummy will be feeling a lot worse in no time. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing the opposite of everything you're saying. Hey, listen to the doctor. He knows what he's doing. That's right. I totally know what I'm doing. What do I do next, helper girl? Ask him if he's sneezing too much. No, I haven't. 
Well, do you know why you haven't been sneezing too much? Why? Because I haven't been scratching my nose with a feather? No, don't be ridiculous. It's because it's too warm for you to sneeze too much here. You need to take a plane to Antarctica, change into your bathing suit, and go swimming in the snow. That should get you sneezing in no time. That does it. I'm done. I refuse to sit here and listen to this nonsense any longer. I'm going to go and find a real doctor. Oh my! What is? Helper girl! Come quick! What's wrong? Take a look at his nose. What? What's wrong with his- OH MY GOODNESS! What is it? What's going on? Is it serious? You have holes in your nose! Huh? Of course I do. Those are my nostrils. They're supposed to be there. Wow, you sound so calm about this. Stay strong. We're gonna fix this. We promise. But they're nostrils. Everyone has them. They're perfectly normal. Having holes in your nose is terrible. Did you know that your nose is just above your mouth? What if you tried to put food into your mouth, but you missed it and went up one of the holes in your nose instead? Last time I checked, your nose isn't supposed to be your mouth. I know you love those holes and you gave them such a cute little name, but they're not good for you. We need to get rid of them. No, you don't. I need my nostrils. I need them to breathe and sneeze. How can I do any of them without my nostrils? I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm sure you'll be able to do all that stuff if you just believe in yourself. Doctor, should I get the special tool for this job? Yes, I'm afraid we have no choice. Send in the baby! Somebody call for a baby? A baby? Why is there a baby here? A stranger? Why is there a stranger here? This is a very special baby. Know how people always play that game where they steal the baby's nose? Yeah, so? Well, Goo here spent hours in a secret playpen trying to figure out how they did it. And once he did, he realized he could do it to grown-ups too. Soon all the nosies will be mine! What does this have to do with me? We're gonna use Google to take off your nose so we can get the holes off. No! Actually, yes, we are. Now hold still so Google can get your nose. Come here, squishy nosy. That's it. This time I mean it. I'm going now. Goodbye. Hey! Come back! You didn't pay me your bill! Let's chase after him! Follow that nosy! Stop! No way. I won't let you take my nose. You'll never catch me. My nose is my nose. My mother gave it to me the day I was born, and I'm going to keep it. Even if I have to run through every background on Animaker. Fine. You can have your nose. Just please give me your money. Honestly, you should be the one paying me for that terrible checkup. But fine. I accept. Do we have a deal? No deal. Money is bored. I want this squishy nosy. Don't listen to him! Listen to me! We have a deal! Don't listen to him! Listen to me! We have a deal! I'm so glad this is over. Doctor, that was amazing! If you keep this up, we'll have so much money! I mean, patience! Wah! I didn't get a squishy nosy! Thank you, Harper Girl. And don't worry, Goo Goo. I'm sure you'll find another squishy nose soon enough. Well, it's time for me to go back to bed. My doctor says I need plenty of rest. I don't think your doctor said that, Doctor. Well, I'm a doctor, and I say I need to get plenty of rest. So I'm going to take my own advice and go back to bed. But it's not night time. It is if I use my imagination. Now be quiet, please. I'm trying to sleep. Okay, Doctor. Good night. Hey, Goo Goo. Want to take a nap, too? No. I want to play with my new squishy nose at Joking Boy's Think you know what's missing?